Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I'd like to discuss just a normal backpacking type camp with you today. Very non-traditional, very modern, very lightweight, but also very versatile in the pieces and parts that go with it. Stay with me and we'll get started. Okay, so here's what we're starting off with. I'll sit down here beside it so you can kind of see what we've got. The biggest bulk, although it's hardly any weight, is going to be your sleep pad. The rest of the stuff is not that bulky. This tarp could probably be folded up or stuffed even smaller than it is. Double wide hammock, bug net, hammock straps, 40 degree bag, and a bag of stakes and ropes. That's pretty much my entire camp other than cook gear. Okay, so this is a 10 foot by 10 foot tarp made in the USA. It's got Tie out sewn into it every two feet all the way around the outside perimeter and they're reinforced on the corners and then it also has four tie out points that are off center in a square that are reinforced again with extra material here and reinforced on the underside so that you have more versatility in your shelter setup. All right, so I went ahead and stretched this thing out in the center between two trees so you could kind of get a better feel for where those tie-out points are that are squared in the center of that tarp. You got two on this side, two on the other side, about a foot and a half back from the center point on both sides. Roof fishing make a great tarp model. All right, so this shows you what a full-size hammock and this is a double width Trek light 10 foot hammock basically. So it shows you what that looks like hung at a pretty close hang angle underneath that tarp. Now obviously if you're in fair weather, you're gonna be in good shape with that setup. If you're gonna get some storms, things like that, you may wanna put that thing on a diamond. That 10 feet in length isn't quite enough to give yourself what you need, I don't think, in a, just a rock and roll storm. But it may be. But I would put it on a diamond, I think, if I were going to experience bad weather for sure. I'd put it on a diamond. But you can cover an entire large hammock with this 10 feet tarp on a square if you desire to do that. Okay, so here's our 10 by 10. Again, we've got it basically over the middle on the ridge line. And then we have the back stake down at a slight angle behind the hammock. And the top staked out like an awning or a rain fly if you will it pretty well covers the hammock unless you got a really good driving rain again then you want to put it in a diamond but it gives you a lot of workspace and a large footprint underneath that hammock that's protected to give you at a minimum shade but also protection from weather and these lines on the corners are easily enough to adjust with a trucker's hitch to drop the pitch on the tree or stake that they're tied to All right, so with this 10 by 10 tarp and this Trek light double hammock here, we've got a pretty nice setup for fair weather. Now I've added a thermo rest, what's called a ridge rest pad in here, and it weighs almost nothing. It's a little bulky when you roll it up because of the length of it, but it really doesn't weigh hardly anything. And if you've got to add something to your hammock setup to help battle convection, it's gonna get down in the 50s, things like that. 40s, 50s, you're going to want something to battle convection. So a nice pad like this comes in real handy. You're not adding a lot of weight to your kit, but you are adding a little bit of bulk. Now beyond that, there's two other accessories that I'd probably come up with to put in here to make it a smoothing it camp as far as the shelter system goes if I were just backpacking. And now we're not talking about traditional camping right now with oil cloth and canvas and wool we're talking about a little bit lighter weight kit where we can go out in the woods and do some bushcrafting and do some smoothing it around camp and not have to carry a lot of weight. You know, the total weight of this system is going to be way less, and I mean way less, than 10 pounds when it's all said and done. So we've got our double hammock, we've got our thermo rest pad, we've got our nice new 10 by 10 tarp over top of this thing, and now we're going to add two more things to this kit to really make it good. Stay with me. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add to this kit is just going to be like a 40 degree 
sleeping bag and a compression sack. And this thing doesn't weigh hardly anything. But it's going to give me a little bit more protection inside this hammock if it's going to get cold at night. Now, a wool blanket is a solid add as well. A lightweight wool blanket like the Pathfinder blanket would be a solid add. If you want something more versatile than a sleeping bag, something you could use for outerwear, wrap around and sit around the campfire, carry the wool blanket. There's nothing wrong with mixing the traditional with the modern. But a sleeping bag will do just fine if you're only going to use it for sleeping. Okay, so the last thing in this kit would be a bug net. And this is a separate bug net. It's a truck light bug net that's separate from the hammock. And a lot of guys like bug nets that are attached to the hammock. And they're okay. I like them that way too. But a detachable bug net like this that just slides off the hammock and has zippers to get into it, just like this, make it real simple. And the versatility of this system is much more vast than the versatility of a system that's connected together because you can't take the net off if you don't want it. If you just want to stretch the hammock out and take a quick nap during the day, you don't want that bug net in your face holding any heat or anything like that on a warm day, you don't have to have the bug net on there. The other thing is being able to take this bug net off lends itself to being able to use it for other things besides just a hammock net because remember, it is a net. Now, we're not talking about survival here really. We're talking more about camping and packing and trucking and things like that. But at the same time, I still want my gear to be as versatile as possible. And this detachable bug net allows for much more versatility than one that's permanently attached to the hammock. All right, folks, well, I appreciate you joining me today for a quick video on a packable camp setup. When I say packable, I guess I mean a backpacking type camp setup that you can use to enjoy yourself out camping and tramping because everything doesn't have to be traditional. I just enjoy the traditional feel of old time type camping. But setups like this that are more modern work fantastic. We sell a lot of these components on our website. I would encourage you to visit us at selfrelianceoutfitters.com. I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and Self Reliance Outfitters. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.